Wow, we love her. <laughs> Abby, how are you feeling today? You're mocking me. You feel pretty intense? I had to leave. Okay, I'm walking standing straight up. Just Abby's struggling tired. a little bit today. Come on, um, <laughs> but we're, we're trying to get through. Let's talk about GPAs. I hate that. So me and Zach earlier were just talking about just like life and we started talking about school and we just wanted to hear what you guys all have to say about public school and the system in general. So me and Zach are gonna have different opinions on a lot of things because like we went to different schools, different sizes, different cities, different states. So going on with what Abby said, I think I had a completely different experience in high school. So, and I, please do not think that I'm going against every teacher at the high school or anything like that, and I do accept a lot of the responsibility. However, I don't think that we strived as a high school to get good grades. Um, you knew who the smart people were, and I feel like almost everybody else was just below them. Um, and again, nothing nothing against them or nothing against these teachers. It's just the fact that I don't think that we strived for that. Um, I mean, I still, after two years in college, I still haven't even taken the ACT. I just got it accepted into CU Denver, still without taking the SAT or the ACT. And that, that is just something that I feel like was never strived for in my high school. I literally finished high school with a 2.7, and I never cared about my GPA until I was in college even. It's so weird to see the difference in how my high school was and how Abby's was. Oh. Oh. Wow. So basically, um, I had a 2.7 unweighted and a 3.1 weighted when I graduated high school, and I was in the bottom 10% of my class. Until my senior year, which all the teachers senior year are like, okay, obviously kids are gonna slack off. Everyone treated me like I was dumb because I didn't do my homework. I cried about it so much and I was consistently stressed about my grades and I love the teachers at Peak. Like I am not hating that at all. Like the teachers were so good to me and like really helped me when I did need a lot of help. Uh, shout out to Miss Burt, my favorite. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Union Station, the clock tower, the Capitol. Oh, that's so cute. So today has been <laughs> go high today. I think both of our feet are hurting, and we're at TJ Maxx buying her some shoes and some socks now. Also, she's not even going in the line <laughs> that we need to go into. But yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, so it's been a long day. Um, <laughs> Abby doesn't want me to fuck. <laughs> we live in a loft apartment, so there's literally no walls. But she just threw that over and almost hit me in the head. Okay, so Abby really wants us to show you her kicks. new kicks. <laughs> so here they are. Ooh, hey. Ooh. Hi, vlog. It's brighter outside. It's the day after than yesterday. <laughs> it's almost like the day went on. No, we're gonna go over to Huckleberry in Louisville. I know everyone here says that. Louisville. It's literally Louisville. Um, um, Colorado. Okay, no. Anyway, so we're gonna go there and eat. This is one of our favorite places, and we'll see you after this. Bye! So we're going to see Venom, and I'm real excited. As you can tell, I'm very cold. I'm the happy girl. We just saw Venom. Overall, I really appreciated it, but then again, I'm a whore for Tom Hardy. Um, I liked it, but it wasn't like <laughs> my favorite, so. Mm. And like, it didn't fit into the MCU. That version would never fit into the MCU. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's how we feel about that. So that's it for today's vlog. Um, we did quite a bit in the past two days. We're gonna actually start doing weekly vlogs. 
um, so we can kind of get more content and actually edit in between. <laughs> so uh, make sure to like and subscribe our video if you want to see our stupid faces some more. Yes! All right. We'll catch you later. <laughs> Bye. Love you. <ya. laughs>